What do you guys think? How long do you think we'll make it tonight? All I've got to do is beat 14 minutes, and we did better than yesterday. Um, I'm going to try to be salt-free again this evening. Um, promised somebody I would try, and it's important. Um, quick change to the rules. Taking off that rule because... Eh, I don't care if I see it and it's interesting. I'll answer it. If not, I'm just going to ignore you. And while we're at it, I'm probably going to ignore those two, but I got some hilarious dating questions in the email. So uh, we're going to let that one ride if it comes, but still do the homework before you type anything. It's right down there below the video. Uh, Yellowstone is broken. It's broken. It's broken. Don't ask about it. I'm not going to answer it. And any questions about the ranch, whether that's the public portion, the events, what kind of accommodations we have, or the longer term community that we have there, which you all, you all know what that means, right? Yeah, you all know what that means. Okay, real quick, uh, I have some notes. Uh, apparently in the Suspicious Observers in the USA Facebook group, some guy named Adam is talking about Nibiru um, in a way that makes him think uh, or is appearing like he, he knows what he's talking about. Adam, stop that. Stop that. You're wrong. Um, there was an interesting question here in the chat. Uh, who said, are we the first civilization to know what's about to happen? Uh, well, I would say in general, our species doesn't have any idea what's about to happen. Us here, we're kind of like the... Uh, the outliers. Um, but no, that's why there are the cliff dwellings here in Colorado Springs. That's why there's Darren Kuyu, Cappadocia, the underground city in Turkey. All over the world, they've got this. Um, a lot of people, so no, we're, we're probably not the first ones to know that they needed to go underground and hide. Um, even if ones in the past was because something came down from the sky and told them. Uh, third, I can tell I'm going to get this question all darn night. Um, Yes, the go live button was disabled for me when I tried to restart it last night. I yelled at them a lot today, and now it's back. Simple. No, I didn't get an explanation. I'm not interested in one. I don't actually care. So, um, hmm. before we get to any questions, and you guys can ask questions, although if you ask them right now, I'm never going to see them because I'm going to be doing this for a minute, okay? And I remember... The YouTube, the video maker can only scroll up so far. So if you're asking questions right now, um, it is a nice finger workout and that's about it. So uh, for those of you who aren't following me on X, what is the matter with you? Why are you not doing that? Um, it's where we post the links to these live shows so you never have to miss one. Uh, it's where I am. I'm me. I'm myself most often. Um but if you caught the post I made earlier today about all of this stuff going mainstream, space weather, the risk of solar storms, and eventually that will lead into pole shift in Earth's disaster cycle, even though we are at the infancy stages of that now. Um, there are a lot of people, and I understand this, who think to themselves, wait a minute, more people knowing it going mainstream, that's a good thing, and I wholeheartedly disagree. Um, because that means narratives. That means controlled, carefully crafted narratives. And I can assure you that even though this per this first little puff that came out in the um, in the news about hey, we're getting a lot of blackouts during solar storms. Hey, did you know the government ran one of those uh, solar storm preparedness exercises? Which means hey, maybe the government knows what's coming. Um, that stuff shot all over the internet. Uh, it was even on TV. Basically, um, I think that this is just sort of a test the waters thing for them so they can see how everybody reacts. Uh, but this is what they do. I mean, it's not like there's anything that can happen that's going to make them pull back on this at all. They're just seeing how they have to pivot or adjust at all before they go full bore making this mainstream. But this is really... It's not a good thing. I guarantee you my job just got a hundred times harder 
Um, you think I didn't care about reaching new people before. Uh, if you have the eyes to see, the ears to hear, and you are somehow guided to the channel, fantastic. Good for you. You have a lot of homework and catching up to do. But other than that, I'm, I have no interest in reaching new people um, because there's no way for any of us to compete with a carefully crafted and controlled narrative on a topic like this. Um, but essentially what this means is that just like before, we're on our own. Except now we are going to be dodging counter narratives like like wild. What is going on here? Okay, we're going to be dodging counter narratives like wild um, misinformation, disinformation. It's this is already challenging enough just within our community. For those of you who watch a bunch of other folks, did you see how many fear-mongering videos were put out about the M3 solar flare over on the limb that I reported this morning? Aimed 90 degrees away from the earth and didn't even produce a significant CME. It's hard enough dealing with the people in our own community, and we are about to have to deal with government-level propaganda, vaccine and COVID-level propaganda once this really starts to catch fire, okay? And I'm not saying there's no opportunities here. I'm not saying every last little thing from every angle you could analyze it is bad. That's not the case. In general, this makes our job, all of our jobs, much, much harder. And unfortunately, it looks like what is poised to be the jumping block because he, here's the hardest thing about moving the Overton window, which is the stupid name for, okay, how do we shift the acceptable discussion perception within the larger community to allow this discussion and by this discussion, we mean our narrative to come into play. They can't just come out and do it. Um, you know, there has to be something there that they're latching onto or trampolining off of. And unfortunately, either that's going to be a solar storm in the next several months, or it's going to be my documentary. By now, I'm pretty sure they are aware of the professors and government officials who have um, agreed to speak to us on camera. And because I played by the rules, they know they can't just blank me. Uh, but I'm not looking forward to what they've got in mind in terms of controlling this narrative. It's probably going to be... <sighs> I will yearn for the days of just getting the UN climate propaganda banner below my videos. I will yearn for those days when I see what they've got planned. And no, I don't know what that is yet, but 